Hello guys, I'm Virus Mike and in today's video I'm going to show you how to update your custom firmware Evilnant PS3 on the latest Evilnant firmware update. Before starting the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. First, go on Multiman. Go on File Manager MMOS, PS3 root, dev HDD0, go down, press circle, create a folder, and name the folder app updater. Now open the folder updater. Add inside, create a new a new folder, zero, one. Close the window. Go back on XMB. Now go on Internet Search and type virus mic. Click here on the first link. Scroll down and click on the new way to install mods link. Scroll down again. And click on PS3 updates. maximum size Martin um, only have hex, specs and dpex now install the custom firmware you want if you are on hex install hex or pex if you are on dex install dpex I'm on dpex right now so I'm going to install dpex Now go back on XMB again. System update and update via system storage. As you can see, 4.92.2 firmware. Press X. As you can see in the background, the color wave changed to green, so that means my firmware I'm installing is DPEX, if you install PEX is purple and HEX is blue. As you can see, PS3 boot normally. Here now on custom firmware tools, you can find power options, file manager, overclock tools is something new. You can overclock your console without installing a firmware. From here, you don't need special firmware anymore. Basic tools, fan tools. And for PS2 now, okay, QA is the same, Cobra tools, PSN tools, account, dump, hex to dex, as you can see I'm on the uh, dex. Reback tools, 
service and update custom firmware uh, 9.2 fi fixes 4.92 sorry One point twenty three on the latest version. That's it for today's video. I hope you find it useful and interesting, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.